have an altar for Day of the Dead. There's many elements in this altar. Many of this has a lot to do with tradition. Different hands have helped construct this altar. Some of those are student hands, some of those are, are moms and dads that have put things here as well. And then also staff members contributing that. So for me, it's a really nice way of expressing and expanding and, and strengthening our culture here at Clint Small. It's a community piece. I like it because it's like, it comes from like Mexico and my family's from Mexico. In an altar, you put different foods that your family likes. So most people put is pan de muerto, which is the specific bread for the dead. And we also put uh, flowers, just as cempasuchis. And some people put flowers leading from the cemetery to, their, to the altar. For my family, one of the things we always do every year is leave candles lit up through the night to make the way of the dead or our past easier to our homes and have the warm welcome to them. The photos, we put like different artists and different family members from people's families that passed away and like different famous people, like musicians, chefs. One of the things I enjoy the most every year is my family just telling me about how they were, just getting to know them a little bit better. I'm happy that everyone comes because everybody comes and takes pictures or they'll put pictures of their families or friends who've passed away and like they always like tell their friends and all their friends will come and see it too. You know some of these pictures here are from families of staff member on the top. The old pictures are from their families in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. So these family pictures have been brought from another country even. It makes me feel very proud to have this altar here and have it be such a, a touch point for all the different uh, stakeholders in our school community. The parents, the staff, and of course the students.